Well, also following up tonight, earlier this week, we told you about a whale in Abaco which was found with a deep slice on its underside. Now there are conflicting reports about how that marine species may have met its death. Opal Roach has the story. As investigations continue into the circumstances surrounding the mutilation of a whale in Abaco, Executive Director and Biologist at the Bahamas Marine Mammal Research Organization, Diane Claridge, says the death of the whale could be linked to something else. The 11-foot pilot mammal was found on a beach at Crossing Rocks last week. Based on our observations um, and the necropsy that we performed, we believe that the animal had a debilitating illness. And because pilot whales feed on um, raw fish, um, they end up with a high parasite load. And sometimes the, the parasites get into the inner ear and cause problems with equilibrium. And, you know, you could see how that animal kept rolling on its side. So it, it was going to die from, from that illness. Um, we don't think that the cut on the stomach was the reason that it stranded. And while the whale may have been able to survive that three foot long, three inch deep cut, the marine biologist believes the mammal was intentionally harmed. We believe that the animal was sliced open in order to find or look for ambergris. And ambergris is a substance that's produced by sperm whales and sperm whales only. So it's incredibly rare. It's a highly valued product that is used in the perfume industry. And right now there's a lot of interest in, in searching for ambergris in the Bahamas. One of the key things to know about am ambergris is that it's only valuable after it, the whale has defecated it. So it poops it out it floats at sea, it oxidizes, the chemi chemical properties of the um, substance changes, and only oxidized ambergris is valuable. The more oxidized it is, the more valuable it is. Now, Claridge says instead of harming those whales, we ought to protect them. In order to have more ambergris be available for us to find in the Bahamas, um, we have to get behind conservation of these animals. We shouldn't be going out there and mutilating their bodies. Uh, we need to you know, be aware of the plastic and, and marine pollution and things that can harm marine mammals. You know, we, we want to keep healthy populations in our waters. And sperm whales reside here year round. If we can keep our waters clean, we will have sperm whales and ambergris. I'm Ophel Roach, Zelenas Network News.